this is my refrigerator right now. It's currently empty. I don't have no food. Somebody in the comments said, go sell the refrigerator. Mm. <laughs> I promise, bro. <laughs> y'all don't take shit serious on the internet. Side note, y'all becoming way too comfortable with coming on this app and begging strangers to help you take care of the children that you chose to have. <laughs> then I go to Shorty's page, she over 30 years old. 30 years old online begging for money. Times are hard. You better sell that phone in your hand. That's a good idea. You better get out there and start selling it if you got to. There's a million, quadrillion, quadrillion, bazillion, mammalian things you can do besides begging strangers on the internet to help you take care of your child while she's screaming in the background. You're basically prostituting your child out for some sympathy points. Wow. If you can't see your baby, then don't have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Someone call me screaming. <laughs> I'm mad because that's one of my favorite Michael Jackson songs of all time. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rome back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So I got a video for you guys from Chisha Zed. Shout out to Chisha Zed. Uh, the rise of anti-baby mama culture. And boy, has this rise been long overdue. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Remember this chick? Okay, y'all just mad because I get three canned food stamps. So what? I get all kinds of snacks while I'm sitting here chilling or whatever, paying no bills. No bills. I'm on government assistance. My son back there with his snacks. Government assistance, three canned food. Seven kids with seven baby daddies. Have we all seen the lady who going viral, who's shouting at the camera and telling us that we haters and we jealous? Uh, no, we're not. I don't think any of us aspire to have seven kids by seven different men. Only you wanted to do that. The only thing I'm jealous of is the fact that you're getting $3,000 in food stamps. That's the only thing I Fair. want. I don't want no seven kids by seven different men, though. You can have that. And then you kind of trying to turn it into a whole personality. Like, it's a niche. Like, all of your videos are surrounded around what you buy with the EBT card. Uh, you having the seven kids by seven different men. Like, it's embarrassing. It's mm. absolutely embarrassing. You the type of woman who, when your boys grow up, they ain't gonna want nothing to do with black women because they associate black women to you, right? And how trifling and weird you were, and now they don't want nothing to do, and they want to get as far away from women like you as mm. they possibly can, so they start dating outside their race. That's something y'all don't like to talk about. A lot of these boys' mamas be so embarrassing growing up. <laughs> that when they get older, they want to get as far away from women like they mamas they possibly can. And that's why they end up starting to date outside their race. But making your whole personality on TikTok, being a woman that got seven kids by seven different men, be for real. And then thinking that anybody is jealous of that or hating on that. I wish y'all never learned the word hating because y'all use that in any instance. And guess what? This ain't one of them because nobody wants your life. I can promise you that. This commenter says, yeah, I'm with her on this one. The only thing that I am jealous of is that you getting $3,000 a, a, a month. So I'm like, hell, that's $36,000. That, that's a little less than what most people make in the United States yearly. But let's be like, yo, this is some nasty work. But what I will say is this, though, because I have noticed this trend where women are trying to tr treat single motherhood like it's a flex. But my thing is, is that y'all shame men that, had, that, that get women pregnant left and right. And I've never, and I mean, I've never seen a man try to like, em, try to spin this, thing like having kids by multiple women was like a flex i've never seen a man do that so <laughs> so i find it a little bit comical that women are trying to do this it's like a whole nother coping mechanism for them let's keep it moving I to get no car because i have to pay rent like i'm tired it's man this is for my gen x women i am sick and tired of seeing these young girls on this internet crying every day about these bills and begging why have y'all not gave these young girls the game mm. 
if you grew up in like the eighties and nineties, it was a common thing. Right. I don't get it. I just don't understand it. Why would y'all ain't telling these girls to go get them an ugly ass man? Come on, butt ugly <laughs> with a good ass job. Right. Help right. them pay these damn bills. This is a ugly man's dream girl. Why y'all got these little young ass girls out here chasing these pretty boys and these street dudes? Right, right. Tell them though to get them somebody work at the steel mill that's ugly and dirty. You gonna pay these bills? Listen, that was y'all. I don't know if he was joking or not, but if he is being serious, like bro, don't don't set up my blue collar workers like that, man. I don't give a damn what they look like. Them brothers work too damn hard to be dealing with a woman like that. F that, man. Shout out to my blue collar workers. Uh, this next video, oh my god, this woman has five kids by three different men. Check this out. Man. The part of parenting or single parenting that nobody talks about is being offered jobs and you can't even accept the jobs because you don't know how you're going to get your kids to and from daycare mm. or who going to watch them on the weekends if you need to work. Mm or anything in that nature. I absolutely love my kids to death. But if I could talk to the younger me, I would tell me to wait. I would tell me to wait to have kids until I know that I either am financially stable or I'm having a team behind me that can help me because everybody needs a community. And when you are alone doing this, it, it's the worst. It's the worst feeling in the world. I absolutely love my kids to death. I, I'll do anything for them. But when you are trying to give them... Except get married the best and you have multiple baby daddies that won't even be like hey what's your work schedule let me help you because i know you didn't help me because i can go to work whenever i feel like it and i can make as much money as i feel like it and i can do the bare minimum for my child it, it's sickening it's sickening and i'm not dealing with one not two but three men that fail to realize that they mama needs to work too and it hurts me to the core because I try to do as much as I can or work around these men's schedules far as pick up and drop off. And I always get the shit in of every stick. I try not to be the baby mama that's calling, complaining, or even asking for too much of nothing. So when I can't even take a job that know that they know that will better their kids' life because their kids are primarily with me, it hurts me. It hurts me because I don't ask. I don't ask, I don't bother, I don't tell if the kids need diapers or if they needed shoes or if they needed socks or anything. I'm not that type of mother. Even if I didn't have food, I would go to a food pantry before I called them and asked them, hey, can you help me with food? Because you know food stamps don't always be kids. It hurts me to the core. It hurts me. But I'm going to start standing on business. I'm going to have to and I don't give a fuck. Cause this shit is it's ridiculous. It's becoming ridiculous. I'm hating wrong. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. I believe Brandon Jamal will call her a five by three. Damn, so we got a five by three and a seven by seven. Sheesh. That's what, twelve kids between what, ten guys? God. And Lord knows how many kids those 10 guys got with other women. But this just goes to show you, man, like these women do not prioritize getting with someone that they can see themselves with long term. They just popping out these babies left and right. And this is one of the reasons why I wish in the West we didn't have child support. Because I guarantee you, bro, if the government wasn't helping these women out so much with ebt cards WIC, all this all these other things that they have access to to help them as mothers i'm telling you bro these women would have no choice but to wisen up and choose a little bit more wisely in terms of men that they have kids with because let's be real man the reason why they're not getting the help that they want from these men is these men are probably not that established Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if some of these men that they're having babies with don't even have a job. Come on now. Let's keep it moving. And remember what she said about um, being financially, waiting until she was financially stable or having a, a community to back her up? Well, it looks like the community is getting tired too. Check this out. Sponsors. I just finished watching a video on TikTok of a young lady crying and upset because she can't take on particular jobs because she has children. Mm. 
And by her having these kids, she can't take on these particular jobs because she doesn't have help. But I find that in the comments, everyone is saying it's the village. They don't make the village like they used to. Mm. And let me tell you why the village is not like it used to be. Okay. Because the village told Brittany when she got pregnant with that first child, Brittany, don't lay up and have no more babies. Brittany, you struggle to take care of this one. We're going to help you with this one, but we, we're not going to help you take care of all these kids if you keep having kids. And guess what Brittany do? Brittany lay up and she keep making kids with all these different men. Mm. Not only that, my mom and papa had to put Brittany out because she had all these kids. And now Brittany's in her own place. But yet she's still calling me, 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 my papa, the TTs and the cousins and everybody, because now she's crying and saying the lights are going to be turned off and her and the kids are going to be in the dark. And did I fail to mention that Brittany has a ninja laying over there in the house? And on top of that, now the family had to pay the light bills. Now, Brittany is always calling and saying she needs gas money because she cannot get her and the kids back and forth. She needs to get to work and she don't have gas to drop the kids off at school. Oh, did I fail to mention? Mm. That Brittany is letting this ninja drop her off at work in her car, and he's the one who's driving all the gas out the car. What? Hmm. Not only that, Brittany dropped her kids off at me, mom, papa house, and she knows she have young children in diapers, and she don't even send no diapers nor no wipes with her children. So now me, mom, papa, they have to scrub their two nickels together to go get her kids some diapers. Not only that, Brittany get food stamps, mm. but when she drop her kids off at me, mom, and papa house, she sends no food or she don't even offer food stamps to me, mom, and papa when she gets some. So me, mom, and papa are already over there struggling to feed themselves, but now they had to take their scraps and also divide, divide it between Brittany and her kids. Listen, on that point, man, I remember listening and hearing a video. She was a grandma. And she was talking about how a lot of older women cannot enjoy their retirement age when they're old because of the decisions that their children make to have children outside of wedlock. Now, one could argue and say, hey, you're to blame. You raised that. Fair. But when does it stop? When does somebody finally decide to break the cycle? Not only that, when Brittany do get off work, she don't come right over there to me, my papa house to get her children. She goes out with her friends and say, oh, mama need a break, too. Do I need to carry on mm. while the village is not like it used to be? The village is tired. The village is tired. And I completely understand where she's coming from because these, the village, whoever, where it be male or female, they keep telling y'all to stop doing this. And then y'all just, y'all don't listen. It's like, you can't sit over here and not listen and then turn around and just expect. And you know what? I know what this has to do, man. This is one of those things. I'm I'm beginning to think that women feel entitled to unconditional love. I'm st it's starting to come off like it's a bit like they feel entitled to it. And it really sucks because men will never get that same grace. But I do want to say this though, because I'm 39, haven't had children yet. I should have had a son like over a decade ago would have been 11 or 12 by now if you've been following me long enough you already know that story i'm not going to get into that otherwise i'll be talking for another five ten minutes but i remember having a conversation with my mom about kids because my mom is going to be 70 next year i believe bro when i tell you now nah, i take that back she turned 70 this year when i tell you like like she's proud of the fact that i haven't had children yet however she has been completely 100 with me when she says jerome don't be over here asking me to babysit and to be honest with you i really can't blame her especially considering she's probably spent uh, all of the better of the last 20 years taking care of my dad being sick so the last thing that she wants to do is have to clean up behind an infant when you spent the last 20 years cleaning up behind your husband being sick so i completely understand that and to be honest with you that's another one of the reasons why i'm a little bit hesitant to have children now as much as i want to live a leave a legacy here so with that being in mind man like men and women need to be a little bit more careful uh with who they lay up with and especially women because y'all are over here just having kids by anybody because you heard what she said and it's funny because i mentioned it earlier and, and i was like remember what i said y'all probably y'all be having babies with dudes that ain't got shit going on dude over here driving your car 
dropping you off back and forth to work. Meanwhile, he over here ripping and running, probably got other chicks in your whip. And I've seen this with my own eyes, just working regular nine to fives long before I started doing YouTube. So there is definitely some truth to what she said, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also look out for the travel blog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces. Thank you.